happy Sunday, very hot family fun day. It's Blackstone Betty. We are live from the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland. I'm going to see if I can connect to my live through Kira's phone. Say hello to Kira behind you. I hope that you guys can hear me. I did bring my microphone with me on vacation. Oh, there we are. We're live, Kira. I see me. Nice. We're on the beautiful Chesapeake Bay. Show them this view that we have. Um, I did bring my microphone, so let me know if you can hear me. Um, I just left it in my truck, and my truck just went for a quick ride to the store. I forgot to put it in the back seat. Um, so hopefully you guys can hear me. Let me know if you can. Hey, Daniel, cooking with country. How are you? Hey, Vinny. Vinny, can you hear me? Kelly King says I can hear you. Okay, good, Kelly. What's up? We have been coming down here for probably the last 15 years. It's one of my secret little favorite getaway towns because there's nothing here, but it's known as the crab capital. Um, and we come down here to sit out on all of these beautiful docks. Show them Kira again, if they're just joining all of these beautiful docks. They're private docks for these condominiums and um, over here we have like Kandra Island all the way back there. This land out here is Jane's Island. So we get to just go on all these different crab docks. We put down big crab traps that we bait up. We do some handline crabbing with chicken necks and we do fishing and we just kind of chill and we pick lots of crabs and eat lots of crabs. I am a crab snob. I'm a crab cake snob and of course on vacation I didn't want to go out and buy like a ton of different things I did of course bring my e-series because this goes everywhere I go especially on a vacation like this where you will see the first sign out there says no gas grills on the balconies and I can't cook in the kitchen because it's too many dishes for me <laughs> so we've been cooking on this um for the past few days we cooked up uh, breakfast every morning so far mm -hmm. i had a full pound of bacon boris had bacon on it this morning delicious um that was good <laughs> with our cinnamon buns what else did we do we did we tried red sausages for the first time ever is the boat going by beautiful uh so we've been having fun cooking on it and as much of a crab cake snob that I am, I didn't pack or go buy all the stuff that I use for my personal crab cake recipe. And I saw this in the store. We get here, we get our little things that we need. I try not to overdo it. I saw this, and y'all know I love my Old Bay. Because, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this came from home. I always have the biggest things of Old Bay. And then we also have Brian Stubbins out there who sent me extra big things of Old Bay. So I figured let's try it, let's test it, see how it turns out for crab cakes. We've been picking crabs all week. We were up till about two o'clock last night. My brother was here, he had me up super late. I look very super tired. We had so much fun though playing, uh, him and my sister-in-law, and we picked and we ate and picked and we ate. So let's try it with of course this came from home too even though I know I can definitely find this in the south down here anywhere I go south I can find my Duke's Mayo so I don't know if any of you guys have ever tried it if you have let me know it says one package of Old Bay crab, crab cake classic this a half a cup of mayo and then a pound of crab meat so many boats we're coming back here with a boat here we yes have boat we have to years ago that we brought down here and if mom if you are watching there is the spot of disaster um you know what i'm talking right about there <laughs> with my dad let me be he might have fell in this. hey jim mel's making lamb burgers Ooh, i have a lamb burger recipe that i absolutely love i love lamb my family loves lamb um who else is here can you sneak shrimp in a recipe for cj of course i can you can go back and watch uh, me trying to feed CJ shrimp and actually a few recipes. My Bloody Mary recipe, my um, sriracha pineapple nachos. He, he doesn't like it. And my shrimp toast too. He, he says no every time. But All right, let's try this, Kira. I'm going to turn on our E-Series to about 375. 
we'll dump this in. This has the panko in it, and it's got everything that we need. So I promise this is what we're gonna do. This here, this will be a recipe we'll test out. And then when I go home, because I have so many crabs in the refrigerator, we're gonna sit down a little bit and start picking at them again. But we're gonna go home and we're going to film my crab cake recipe and show you video of everything that we did this week, uh, which is gonna be fun. Take our crabs home tomorrow and I'm gonna film my personal crab cake recipe and compare the two. All right, let's see. We're doing that with some of our Dukes, which I don't think anybody, oh, we did use this. When did we use this? Oh, I made burgers on the E-Series oh, yeah. the first night. We were here, I forgot. How much, you know what? Sometimes I read the recipe and sometimes I don't. Half a cup will eyeball. Half a cup. Who do we have on there, Kira, watching? We'll start with um, that. It's kind it of hard because a lot of this aren't actual people's names. Oh, guys, yes. Yeah, so that's a little bit hard. We don't know who yeah. some of the, the YouTube accounts are so if you're watching please so that i can go back because i know that the live chat saves put who you are especially if you're from um someone from facebook that usually joins in our facebook lives or if you're um if you don't have facebook and you're always on the youtube live so that we can get to know who you are because we are going to start like i told you before start doing more of these lives yeah hi tim thompson hey tim thompson all right, let's mix these up. Christine Price is watching from North Carolina. Hi. Hey, Christine. Can you find Old Bay stuff down in North Carolina? Kimberly Gibbs said it's her second time watching. Love it. Happily subscribe. What was her name? Uh, Kimberly Gibbs. Kimberly, hi, girl. All right, I'm going to add in. It doesn't say to add in Old Bay, but we live for Old Bay, like I just explained. <laughs> so I am going to add in more and probably this crab meat probably has old bay already all over it and might not be the cleanest because we you know when you sit around the table and you pick crabs there's it's a mess in there from picking yeah. crabs constantly there's shells on the floor i gotta clean this is one of our not so fancy getaways all right that's it Usually, at least for my recipe, when I make my crab cakes at home, I refrigerate them for 30 minutes to an hour before, or I'll make the mixture in the morning and then cook them later on for dinner, just so that they form better. But we're winging it here, and I'm on vacation, so it is what it is, right? Mm-hmm. I wish I had a bell, but I don't. <laughs> Who do we have, Kara? I see you making a face. No, I wasn't making a face, it's just sunny. Oh, all right, crab cakes. We can either make them with several different things. Sometimes I like to fry them in unsalted butter. Actually, I have a crab bomb video recipe already on here that you guys can go that watch. That is kind of like my crab cake. That's more of the crab bomb because it's got vinegar, um, but that's a good one, especially for the Blackstone uh, air fryer drawers. Or I'll use ghee, oh, just clarified butter. This, you'll have a less, this won't burn. If you're cooking on high, especially on the traditional Blackstone griddle, like this is very forgiving, the E-Series. You can't burn anything on this thing at all, ever. This you can, so try to go with this if you're cooking it on the traditional griddle. I don't know which one we're gonna do yet. Or you could just fry them up in either olive oil or this is extra light tasting olive oil, which I love because it, it's meant for frying and baking and it doesn't ever burn for me. Plus, the Duke's mayo is really going to help it get crispy. I hope these turn out good. I don't have high hopes because it's a packet. But it might be the best thing. Yeah. It's hot out here. Today. It is. It very is hot. so humid. Like, I just soaked through my clothes. I can feel <laughs> it. All right, let's see. So this is preheating. I should have probably preheated it. But let me just show you. If you do get this, you absolutely need these utensils. They're plastic so that you're not gonna scrape the surface. You don't wanna use your metal spatula or tongs on this. Kira, you're gonna go jump in the pool when you're done? Yeah. Do you feel like you need water or something. Okay, I I'm fine, really I'm fine. That. And of course, this always goes with me too. The rubber mat, I put everything in here, close the lid, and I put it in the bed of my truck. And this makes every trip that we go on just that much better. Of course, if I go somewhere and I get a house for a rental, then I'll bring down usually the 22 
maybe a 22 and a 17, and I'll put them out uh, wherever we rent. Especially when it's all 20 of us that travel. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta have two. Sometimes my dad will bring one of his, and I'll bring one of mine, and... Makes it easy. It's just easy. All right. I didn't wash my hands. Well, I did before we started this, but I've touched your phone and all this, so I can't really form the patty, so I'm just gonna do it by spoons. And we'll drop these down. We're gonna do butter. And I'm gonna do butter the super lazy way. Like this. Okay? It's an easy way. Before we start, since I can't touch your phone, let's see who we have. Oh, God. It's yeah, so comments hard. are easier to read on there. It's kind of hard on whatever this app we're using. Oh, it's hard for you to see over there? Good afternoon, Betty you more. from North Pole, Alaska, Terry White. Wait, Terry White, that's where you live? Linda oh, wow. Farrow, thanks. Also need to learn crab leg clusters. Oh, Linda, when I first got my first Blackstone, that was probably one of the first things I did was throw, I threw on like a deconstructed shrimp boil. I did mussel, shrimp, uh, the potatoes, parboiled already, or microwave before, either way, you can do it. Corn, you know, broken up into bite-sized pieces. Crab clusters, the crab legs. We always have to get crab legs because Kira won't eat these ones. Yeah. But she likes the crab legs. <laughs> she used to, but I think because they're so messy, you're literally covered in, you know, the, the bunk from inside of the it's a lot of work. crab and everything. All right. Keep reading messages if you can see them. Oh, Terry White said that um, we are on a vacation for two weeks. Oh, nice. All right, let's see. We are going to go like this and try to get some crab balls. We are definitely not refrigerating this. <laughs> it's very hot out here. So we have to see. We might have to go wash my hands so I can form these. You do what you got to do when you got to do it. The good thing about this recipe, though, is because I do add egg to mine, this one doesn't have any egg. So we're not going to have to worry about anything being undercooked. A little bit of butter. Ooh, Blackson just said, who's watching from the furthest away? Let's see. I actually wonder, like, where does everyone watch from? All right, well, it's got to be the furthest away from not Logan, where Blackstone headquarters is, which hopefully I'll be over there soon. But this is uh, Maryland. So let's see who is the closest to me and who, who is the furthest from me. Um, someone named Learn to Shoot Guns is in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Linda Farrow's in Pennsylvania. I'm usually in Pennsylvania. I'm from Pennsylvania. I live in Pennsylvania, so usually my lives will see me. I'm in Pennsylvania. Joe Myers, Louisville, Kentucky. And I can promise you, wait for my crab video when we get home, um, when I am forming <laughs> crab balls, or go watch my crab bomb video. My crab bomb video, well, what is it, Kira? What? My crab bomb video. It's uh, the bomb. Yeah, <laughs> the bomb.com. It's the bomb.com. It is so good. And you can make them big or small depending on who you're cooking for. And there's, they're like drowned in butter and that white vinegar, which goes perfect. I'm just doing small ones because it's just the four of us. So we are going to kind of just have these as a before dinner, after lunch snack. Yeah. That. Put them on the side of sitting around the table kind and like an picking more crabs. Yeah. Oh, these are a lot of comments. Um, Go read them as fast as you can. Okay, Kathy King, Northern Michigan. Kelly King, PA. Ron from Crowley, uh, Los Angeles. Sounds delicious. BB Parham, Charleston, South Carolina. Terry White, North Pole, Alaska. I think that wins. Um, Jason Hawkins, Maryland. Ooh, Dan Tillis, Nebraska. Carly Cunningham, Pittsfield, Pittsville, yeah, Illinois. Anybody from Maryland right now is probably going, what is she doing to those crab cakes? But I'm trying not to touch them. <laughs> yeah, Peggy Young's, oh wait, is Flint, Michigan. Which one was, oh, Kathy Vaughn is right here in Baltimore, Maryland. Nice. Oh, there's a lot of comments. Do I have any new neighbors where I live that are watching? I am starting to see a lot of new Blackstone owners where I live. They're finding out that I live near them uh, and their owners. People from the barbershop I just found out all have Blackstones and I am like 
I'm gonna come cook lunch for you guys one day. All right, I wanna form those ones, so I'm just gonna go this far with these because I really wanna smush them just a little bit. <laughs> Let's show them that view one more time. Why they cook. Your phone, Scarlett, really dark. No, we're overheating probably. Come over here where there's a little bit of a breeze. See the boats going by. We were fishing out there this morning on this side. That's like usually our sweet there. spot for crabbing over here, which I love. Like, all, there's more docks to the right. And I've, I've videoed uh, a ton for you guys since I've been here. So I'm going to put it all to a video and then recreate my crab cake recipe. Look at this. Oh, you missed it. I'm oh, sorry. See, this is usually, I'm covered in the Old Bay or whatever. Other, we have J.O. too. I'm not an Old Bay snob. I like Old Bay, but I also like J.O. Because J.O. is just delicious. And I have it in the kitchen. I didn't want to show both. Should I show both? Mm, it's so salty and good. What else mm. do we have, Carol? Um... Mm. I'm literally gonna turn it into a crab. I've been eating so much crab meat. Go ahead, keep going. Jim from Pocono Summit, Pennsylvania. Um, you know what I forgot to bring this time, and this lady doesn't have it at the rental, is crackers. I don't have crab crackers. Does anybody not know how to open up a blue crab? Does anybody want to see? The yeah, you should, just, you, should, you should just open the whole thing. <laughs> why my daughter doesn't like them, but it's funny because my son goes crazy over eating them. He ate so many crabs. His mouth was on fire from all of the Old Bay. Is, am I still overheating? Frederick, Maryland. So pretty close. I know, we literally have so many people from all over. We have people- it's crazy. What are we saying from coast to coast, mm -hmm. everywhere? We have people from Germany watching. Um, we've had people from, um, what was that island somebody watches from all the time? I can't think of his name. But everywhere, all right, let's flip these carrots. Which one did I put on first, this one? I think so. This could be disastrous, Kira. Oh no. The best part of making a crab cake refrigerate the darn things and don't cook them out on a balcony when it's 105 degrees out <laughs> straight from making them either way it's just hot crab meat and you know old bay and just a little bit of um duke's which is egg and oil so either way I'm some mayo is if the, you just asked me if that's what mayo is you know what you didn't watch my how to make your own mayo I video didn't that's on youtube watch on it. this channel I'm sorry. Mayo. mayo. Man, I don't know if I should even attempt this. I'm going to put this stuff in the fridge and try to refry these ones even smaller for like our bite size. And then, ooh, bite size. I'm going to cool. go up just a little bit higher. So like See how fast it goes up, too? It did take me about 20 minutes to figure out how to turn anything <laughs> off when I first got it. I was like, it doesn't go off. You have to hold it down, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Everybody that uses this uh, asks me, how do you turn it off? <laughs> but, you know, you, you get what I'm saying. When you make these, smush them into um, crab cakes, then put them in the refrigerator. Don't put just this in the refrigerator. You could, but you really want to form them, put them on some parchment paper, and put them in the fridge, or even in the freezer if you have less time, like 10 minutes. That way they really stick together when you're frying them or put them in your Blackstone air fryer and make my crab bomb recipe. I would say so far, maybe it's because I'm not touching them because I'm trying not to. Um, I like my recipe better, but we didn't taste and you know what we forgot? What? To taste with? Forks. Oh, use your hands. Yeah, I don't know, Kira. We might have to go back down to the docks and get more. I'm up for that. Yeah? Before we head home, these are gonna be good though. All right, let's see who else we have. Fenwick Island, Delaware. Oh man, 
One of our favorite places to get prime rib is in Fenwick Island. I can't remember what it's called, but you probably know. Marcus, what is a place that has really good prime rib where you live? Man, I do look hot, don't I? Like sweaty hot. Don't say that. No, me. Uh oh. Cooking on the vacation. Tina, I love cooking on vacation. It just, you know, I can't do a week without my Blackstone for one. But two, there's nothing in this town that, um, it's just, you come here to crab and fish. So we have to cook. And I try to keep it real, like, easy and simple. We did burgers the first night on this bacon. My brother came here and he was like, what is this? Because he hasn't seen the East here. I don't know how he missed it. Um, but he was really impressed. He was impressed with the pound of bacon. I cut it in half and then lined it up there this morning. Just get crab meat from my work. Vincent, but that defeats the whole purpose of coming crabbing. Like, yeah. it's so fun to crab. It smells like crab and bait. And there's just nothing like sitting on the docks and having that quality time. The kids are learning to catch their own food to provide for themselves. And um, it's just fun. There's not many other hobbies that I really enjoy <laughs> besides cooking and catching my own food. We went fishing earlier and we caught more crabs with a fishing rod than fish. Yeah. There's just so many here. I feel like Bruce sitting here, <laughs> just sitting, hanging out like I'm Bruce, <laughs> sitting and chit chatting. All right, I'm really nervous to flip these, guys. I tried to turn up the heat to see if it would work. If you're hanging through to this, they're not gonna flip without falling the heck apart. You know what? This might end up being like a crab martini. You know what a crab martini is? No. Well, usually I do drink in a martini glass, some cocktail sauce, and then cold lump crab meat. Um, that's perfect. We could do a hot martini. If this crab all, meat all mixes or you know falls apart, we could do hot crab martinis. How does that sound? Pretty good. Good, because I am sweating. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, if there's no other questions, I, I feel like I'm going to have to refrigerate these. I can refry some and then post a picture within the next 30 minutes or so. On my Instagram, find it, or maybe we'll even pop back on my personal Blackstone Betty YouTube channel to show you um, and really give my final review of the Old Bay Crab Cake Mix. But be sure to uh, look out, yeah, so Make sure you're following me on YouTube because we are, we're starting to use it more. Um, be sure to be subscribed to this channel because when I get home, we'll be doing my crab cake recipe, different from my crab bomb recipe, uh, or something at least with all of the all of the crabs that we have. Maybe my crab and macaroni, pasta yes. and macaroni. Crab and spaghetti, anybody loves uh, crab and spaghetti? That's, I call them crab and macaroni, but that's probably my favorite dish to make ever is pasta. I can make pasta with my eyes closed all different ways, but crab and macaronis are my favorite. It's really good. Um, there's a question. Yes. Corey D asks, how hot does the E-Series get? Hot enough for searing may be good for my daughter's apartment. 500 degrees it goes up to. Um, I'm not sure if you might be able to read it with a temp gun. Um, it might even go, you know, read higher than that. Is it good for searing? Yes, so. What's searing? I can re my fatty burger, not a smash burger, a fatty burger on this thing at home. It was, it's just the most gorgeous picture ever. I'll show you that. I think it's good. It's not as hot as the Blackstone griddle, of course, but it's the best. Kira. I think it'll work. I just, just, ooh, no, we're getting yeah. a good crust right there. I just think these are going to take a little bit longer. Maybe I should be up higher. Yeah. Let's go to 500. We'll wing it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wing it. I hear people in the pool, and i that's where I want to be meant to, like, right now. <sighs> it's gross. All right. So promise me you'll come back. Look for that picture for an inside griddle. It is great, Tina. You're right. Thank you. Learn to shoot guns. Enjoy your vacation. Thank you. Let me know your first name so that I um, get you guys lined up with your YouTube username. Uh, they might have said it earlier, but I there's a lot of comments. I see Kevin Short in. 
how I always have to eat so you may as well use a black stone to cook with. Tori, Ray, seriously, if we always have to eat, that's true, but some people take the shortcut and go and sit through a drive through and I hate that because cooking should be fun. Then if you if you're cooking and it's fun for you, then you're gonna be cooking good food and you're gonna really enjoy the things you're eating and cook good for your body too. Balance. We have our cheeseburgers and then we have things that we make on the Blackstone like our grilled chicken for salads with really good dressings that mm -hmm. I share with you guys. Um, there's just, this makes all of the Blackstones make cooking and, and for yourself and your friends and family just enjoyable. All right, should we go? Yeah, it's a little hot. <laughs> This was not the best light. Look at my butter melting down the table. It is so hot out here. Where? I wish I had a thermometer. It's probably like 115 oh. if I had to guess. Oh, on the balcony. On oh, the balcony. yeah. We're having crab martinis, so cheers to that. All right, let's sign off. We're going to go have crab martinis. I'm about to chop this up right here. Can I do it right now? Refrigerate them, guys. We, we should have did our mini crab grilled cheeses that I do. This looks like heaven. Or you can eat like um we were gonna hash do, browns. We, yeah, we were gonna do um crab. Oh, you know what we should do right now? Get what? me those. We should do crab nachos. Hmm. Crab nachos. Oh yeah, that's good. Let's put this all over the the chips. Perfect. Okay. That was a good idea. That. See, there's always ideas. I see people getting like, I keep making the same things over and over. My blacks and I can't think of stuff, dude. I'm telling you, the idea is just, and it's from the from just the, the flat surface makes me think of so many different things you can cook. We went from crab cakes to crab martinis, so now we're doing crab nachos. We were going to do crab grilled cheese, but the bread down here, it ain't like at home, so I couldn't do that. You also thought crab macaroni. Crab pasta, my crab macaroni. Um, we were going to do crab omelets this morning. Oh, yeah. But... The late night kind of ruined that, <laughs> so. And we went up early for fishing. And they were f out fishing, so. Yeah, there's always something you can turn your food into, so don't ever think that you, you know, there's always ideas on this page on the Blackstone Griddles, Instagram, Facebook, as well as, I need a, like a spoon. Oh, Floyd Campbell said crab nachos rock. Oh my God, that's what we're doing right now. I cannot wait. All right, let's go. I'll take a picture of them. I have some green onions in the fridge oh. that I brought down. Let's do it. Okay. We were gonna make crab pizzas last night because I brought down the Delalo pizza, pizza dough and we made them in the oven. They didn't come out, I what mean, they, they were delicious, but they didn't come out as crusty they crab do pizza. in my new Blackstone 22 inch black, uh, pizza oven attachment, which I love, but they, th it was still delicious. and. Obviously, we're, we were going to do a crab pizza, but now I'm glad that we didn't because we're going to go off our diet again and go on to crab nachos next. <laughs> so thanks for joining me. I got a lot of crab to eat and a lot of crab to pick. A lot. So that's it. I'm not sure if anybody else is live this weekend. Thanks for joining me. I'm about to go jump in that pool before we do the crab nachos, though. Yeah, it's I'm, I'm ready to pass out, seriously. All right, thanks for hanging out, guys. Be sure that you're posting everything that you guys are cooking on your griddles and tagging um, Blackstone products. Tag me if you want to show me because I love resharing all of the stuff that you guys are making. Um, if you do make my crab bombs or what else did we talk about? Crab bombs? We talked about... Um, oh, my so shrimp toast, the, sh the Bloody Mary, the... Um, all the shrimp, the shrimp nachos, all the stuff that I feed CJ that he doesn't like. <laughs> but actually, all of those videos, he ate it and he said that it was good, just not, he just doesn't like shrimp. Mm. So good. Let's get the chips. Bye, guys. Bye. Ooh, yeah. It's hot.